Is this the next Texas boomtown? Jeremy at the Night Group, your favorite awesome realtor. Hey, I wanna thank you so much for everybody who wrote comments in one of my previous videos about asking about Dell Valley. Now, there's a lot of development happening in the Dell Valley area, and there's a lot of reasons why people have been in it for a long time looking at Dell Valley. So we're gonna go through that. We're gonna talk about what's coming to Dell Valley. What's the big reason why Dell Valley is on the map right now? It's a little thing called t -t 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 Tesla. So we're gonna talk about that and the expansions going Going there and we're gonna do a lot of things so drop a comment below look the comments that I got from that video spurred this video so your comments definitely help out this channel and help us put out the content that you want to hear so here we go drop a comment below let's get going so largely why people are looking out in the De Valley area is the fact pricing. So if you look at the Austin prices, for the longest time, they've been a lot higher than the Del Valley area. Now the Del Valley area is this area just kind of like southeast of the airport. Now if we look at the school district, the school district runs pretty much up to the edge of Manor and it goes over to like Easton Park, a little further towards I-35. So if you're looking at school districts, which we'll talk about in a second, Part of that Eastern Park, in fact, all of Eastern Park goes to Del Valley Schools. We're gonna talk about some major announcements for Del Valley Schools as well, and some things that are happening, so pay attention. The median price, and I pulled this up from the Austin Board of Realtors, the median price for a home out in Del Valley right now is $325,000. Now, if we look at that and compare that to the Austin area, right now Austin's 525. And you know, when I started selling real estate, you you know, back 2015, 2016, you could buy a pretty nice house out there in Del Valley, just east of the airport, for $150,000, $189,000. I remember looking at properties out there a lot, going, "Wow, these are really cheap." Now they're in the three. 25 mark you know if we're looking at what's available right now i mean you have stuff 399 439 right here you have stuff in the millions and then if you get closer to the freeway over here you got stuff 360 308 300 now i know a lot of uh, investors actually look out in this area to see if they can get deals but definitely check the rental rates out there so there's one thing that really made Dell valley special in the most recent news going back to like 2012 and that was a fact that the coda speedway went out there so you have f1 out there moto gp there's a lot of concerts with the Austin 360 Amphitheater they have out there. So there's a lot of events that are coming out to Del Valley. The biggest problem with Del Valley and everyone that has moved out there is there hasn't been a lot of infrastructure. If you go out there right now, there's pretty much just little gas stations around and there's really no big infrastructure. In fact, my biggest complaint for Easton Park, which is Austin, but part of the Del Valley School District is the fact that there's really nothing out there. In fact, I have a friend that owns a lot of land out there and they're looking at developing that land into more commercial use. So that might be on the horizon, but that's still not close enough to Del Valley. So what is happening in developing in Del Valley? The biggest news that has come out really in the last two years, the fact that Elon Musk brought Tesla out there. And so that's really what has put Del Valley on the map and put a lot of investors' eyes on Del Valley. Now, a lot of people are looking more of like the Hornsby Bend area in buying around there, or they're trying to find somewhere close to Tesla. And that's why people have been looking out in Del Valley. Again, if you're an investor looking at the prices out there, just make sure that the rental rates comp out. Tesla is gonna build another 700 million expansion for the Gigafactory out there. Now, this is gonna be another huge expansion. You know, they just announced recently too that the Cybertruck is gonna start rolling out towards the end of 2023. So Tesla's put a lot of money into the school districts around Del Valley as well, and to the schools, because they're going to try to get students pretty much out of high school to come work for Tesla right there at the high school. So that's pretty interesting as well. You know, when we talk about Del Valley, though, we do have to talk about the schools because I've talked recently about the Chapter 313 incentives leaving, and that was what brought a lot of these big companies out here with these incentives and tax breaks for the schools. But here's some really interesting information. If we look at Del Valley ISD, which is right here off niche.com, it's rated a C plus. So you know, however you want to look at the ratings, you do you, but this is what I look at primarily is the niche.com or great schools, and it's got a C plus. But let's look at the mapped area for Del Valley. Now, Del Valley ISD does kind of like make up a lot of this area around the airport. And being around the airport, we gotta talk about something in a minute. So stay tuned to that. Big news coming there. They are actually going to and just purchase $25 million worth of land right next to Whisper Valley. Now, if you've heard of me talk about Whisper Valley in previous videos, Whisper Valley is a neighborhood 
neighborhood right in Maynard. And it's one of those like self-sufficient neighborhoods. They got a lot of solar. They have like crops and stuff that they built that you can actually like grow crops and things like that. Whisper Valley is a really great neighborhood. In fact, they're releasing some more homes out there. But let's look at this information right here. So indeed, Del Valley ISD did purchase 149 acres for $25 million next to Whisper Valley, which is even on here, they're saying is zero, zero energy capable neighborhood. And, and this is really the fringe of Del Valley ISD. Now this isn't actually Del Valley, but this does help if like you're gonna buy maybe a little bit further north of Del Valley, maybe buy in Hornsby Bend where prices are still around that 325 price point you are gonna see more schools go in there and more development for schools from Del Valley ISD. And that's a, a large part and thanks to everybody moving out to the area. Now they have this tax base for that. And speaking of new neighborhoods, let's talk about the major neighborhoods that are coming to the Del Valley area because this is what's gonna make Del Valley boom. Now, right now you have like, Lennar's building a neighborhood out there in Sunchase. Tax rates aren't too bad out in Del Valley. You know, I talk about tax rates a lot, but some of these neighborhoods are about 2.3 to 3% tax rate. So just make sure you're paying attention to the tax rate. This neighborhood right here is gonna be a Taylor Morrison build, and it looks like they're gonna bring about 155 homes on 55 acres. So they're gonna get these guys tight, really tight in there. No pricing or information out, but this is going to be very close to Del Valley High School, the racetrack, and next to Tesla. So bringing in these homes is definitely gonna help, especially those people moving in for Tesla. Now here's that other neighborhood that's being that's been like all over the news, and that's Mirador. This is 1,400 acres. They're talking about bringing 2,500 homes into this area, plus some mixed use development and multifamily options in there, some duplexes and things like that. I actually just spoke with the VP of Highland Homes. They are going in there. I talked to him actually yesterday. One of my favorite builders, again, Highland Homes. I don't get paid by any of these builders for my opinion on them so I've never taken a dollar from any builder as far as like marketing or why I'd want to work with them my experience then I, why I talk about specific builders is because I've had good or bad experiences with them so you have Guillen going out there Lennar Homes David Weekly and Highland Homes my favorite and MHI Homes so now you're thinking to me Jeremy okay you've said that there's not a lot out there right you're talking about these major developments that are coming out there What's the infrastructure like? And that's a great, great, great question. I'm glad I'm here to answer for you because really Pierce Road is the only major road out there kind of in the heartbeat of Del Valley at the moment. They are adding more lanes and they're putting more money into Pierce Lane. This out from KXAN. Brad Willis of Tech Stock Spokesman said, right now in this area, you have schools, you have a lot of housing developments. So you have a lot of folks that are not only getting in their cars and commuting every day, but they're having families that want to go biking and other things. They are going to develop and make Pierce Lane larger. And this will be helpful as a major artery for Del Valley. Let's talk about some of the other developments that might be coming to the area because this is really what you want to hear about and here's one of them right here heb doesn't have a timeline for a store but heb has purchased 15 acres right next to the airport so that means that heb will hopefully be coming out there and that is going to be a godsend for a lot of the people that live out there now there's not a lot in del valley it's not like you can just go into the airport and like grab a burger over at uh, you know one of the burger joints inside the airport you actually have to have a ticket now uh, airport rules so heb does have 15 acres secured out there it's been, I think they purchased this back in 2017 and they still don't have anything built out there, but this should be coming and hopefully it's coming soon because what's coming out there in addition to HEB hopefully is this big major development that I talked about in my last video. Now this is gonna be 270 acres. This is really, really close to the airport and it's right next to where HEB has purchased land. In fact, let me show you this. So this little track right here, boom, owned by HEB. There you go, 15 acres. And this is the 100 and, uh, 270 acres next to it is right here where they're going to be doing this Velocity PO Venture Group. So they're going to have mixed use development. They're going to be bringing a lot. Now this is in the preliminary stages, but this could bring a lot of jobs to the Del Valley area. This could bring a lot of you know, mixed use developments. It could bring down prices a little bit as well if you're looking at somebody that's looking to rent or be close to Tesla. Of course, they pick this position to be this close to Tesla. So let's talk about some other things that are coming. Now, Samsung isn't necessarily going to be in Del Valley, but they are building close by. So this will help Del Valley, the price of homes and all of that stuff. But they did get Manor ISD tax breaks from the 313. So they will be expanding over there with Samsung. Now, this is a little bit further up closer to Manor, but this will be pretty great if they do bring more jobs because they're still going to need more places to live, which means people are probably looking at Hornsby Bend area. They're going to be looking at Manor and they are going 
going to be looking in Dell Valley. Now, let's talk about something else that's coming. Now, I talked about this in the last video. I believe I talked about this in the last video, but you have a large industrial project that's coming to Dell Valley, kind of really close to where all the action is. If you look on this little map right here, you have Circuit of the Americas right here. It's going to be kind of in between 130 and Circuit of the Americas. So you're going to have more developments coming to Dell Valley. You're going to have more jobs potentially coming to Dell Valley. And that's, that's kind of it. You have a lot of growth out there. So what do you think? Do you think Del Valley is the next Texas boom town? There is a lot coming out there. Drop a comment below. And hey, if you want me to do a video on something else, drop that too. Jeremy Knight, the Night Group. Catch you in the next video.